Fed USA. Welcome back, everybody. This is Fed USA Gaming, and today we are continuing our sealed collection uh, box series where we kind of talk about Pokemon collecting and uh, the different kind of aspects and the different things you could buy uh, and keep as part of your collection. And today, in terms of sealed product, what we're focused on is you can see we're talking about Elite Trainer boxes. Um, Elite Trader Boxes, this is a great item to have in your collection. I've got a couple different ones that are, I'd say, anywhere from call it three years old to something that just came out. Um, you know, Elite Trainer Boxes are, are really a great thing to have in your sealed collection. Um, they don't take up a lot of space. They uh, uh, tend to have, you know, you, you can you could get one of every set. I like that it's a lower price point. You know, if, if you want to collect a booster box from every set, um, it might cost you a hundred dollars a set versus if you buy these elite trainers when they come out You know, you're probably talking about 30 40 45 dollars um, So I think that's great um, Let's just look at a couple of the ones we have uh, kind of in this set right here. Here's the new unified minds um, What I would say about the new elite trainer boxes um, and I know that uh, You know, you might see them come out and they seem like they're super available and things like that um, what I would say is like the recent sets, some of these have actually went out of print pretty quick. So not really, you know, Unified Minds you can get pretty frequently, but for example, uh, Unbroken Bonds, um, the, you know, the booster boxes went out of print, then they reprinted them. But for example, um, they never brought back the Elite Trainers. So, you know, I could see these Elite Trainers um, kind of appreciating value over time, or this might be a nice collectible. Um, we saw the same thing, for example, Celestial Storm. Uh, if you've noticed that Celestial Storm uh, booster boxes, you know, they're still kind of around $100 a box, but the Elite Trainer box is actually pretty tough to find. You know, you can go, go online, look around, or even look in your local stores. Uh, this box, um, they, did, they did kind of a short print, and it's tough to get. So surprisingly, even some of the, what I would say, in-print, regular way sets, uh, the Elite Trainers are a really, really nice kind of sealed collectible. Um, you know, your usual, just to go through, you know, usually Elite Trainer box, you get the eight booster packs, you get an energy pack, uh, you get the player's guide, and you also get unique card sleeves. What I would say to keep an eye out for when you collect some of these Elite Trainer boxes, uh, look for some of the ancillary items. For example, the card sleeves, because these are these Reshram and Charizard card sleeves, um, this box is a very popular box because those sleeves are very popular and you can only get them out of here. Um, you know, my favorite, uh, and I've talked about this a little bit on prior videos, but in terms of a sealed collection, if you're really looking for something kind of unique or something to kind of hold over the long term, uh, my favorite thing to collect are the fall sets in Pokemon. So I've got the three kind of last ones um, from the three last years here with me. Uh, I'll do them in order. I've got, here's the Dragon Majesty boxes. Um, what's great about the fall sets is that, you know, you can't get the packs out of the, out of, there's no booster boxes. And all of the fall elite trainers, they come with 10 packs. So right off the bat, you know, the packs tend to hold up. People are always looking for packs from the fall sets. And when you look at these elite trainers, whether it's Dragon Majesty, or the year before that, it was Shining Legends. Uh, you know, they, these come with a lot of packs um, versus kind of your normal uh, normal elite trainer has eight packs. Um, and they come with, look, this one also comes with kind of cool card sleeves, unique card sleeves. Um, so my favorite thing to collect when it comes to elite trainer boxes is to buy and collect the fall sets. So, you know, whether it's Generations, you know, Generations box like this now might go for $100, $125. Um, you know, if you look at something, here's the back so you can see what this one comes with. These also have, this is a very popular sleeves for this set. Um, if you look at, uh, Shining Legends, um, you know, these, these are on the cheaper end, but still you're talking about, still you're talking about in Shining Legends, uh, these are, these are moving up. These are maybe 40 to $50 elite trainers. Um, they definitely printed, they kind of probably printed these a little too heavily, um, but then they cut back a lot on Dragon Majesty, and these are already kind of 50 to $60 elite trainers. And, you know, Hidden Fates, 
um, Hidden Fates, they cut back a lot. So I think you could actually see that fall set, um, the Elite Trainers for that set, do very, very well. Um, so, you know, I've got a couple other ones over here. These are a little bit, a little bit older than... Uh, here's a Breakthrough. I think what's cool, too, is, you know, some of the sets, so like for Breakthrough... Um, you know, you had the, you had two different types, two different colors. You also had it for like sun and moon. That's kind of cool to collect the pair. You know, you can get one of each. Um, but I think generally when people are starting sealed collections, I think that elite trainers are a great, great way to start. You know, it's, it's not a high, you know, it's not a high ticket item. Uh, you could, you could, as long as you buy these things when they first come out, um, they're they're usually kind of thirty to forty forty five dollars a box. You know, if you wanted to collect one of each set, uh, it's a lot cheaper than collecting a booster box from each set or something like that. Um, and once again, I think it's a great uh, great idea. Maybe instead of buying that booster box, buy two elite trainers, keep one sealed, open one up for fun, open it with your friends, do something like that. And and also same thing on the fall sets. You know, the fall sets uh, these are great kind of collector item something great for your collection um, and uh, something great to keep sealed so you know we're gonna have more uh, we're gonna have more of these uh, collecting kind of series videos um, you know we did one earlier where we talked about some PSA cards and talked about the shadowless base set this uh, this one we're talking about elite trainer boxes you know some other things that we uh, we collect in terms of sealed stuff and also that we have up on the store we do a lot of kind of older collection boxes um, I've got one, uh, hold on one second, but we also do a lot of the Japanese sets, uh, specialty sets. Um, this is a really cool box. This is a Pikachu box, but, um, we're going to have future videos. Uh, if there's something that you want to see, if there's something that you collect or some that you'd like to start collecting, leave a comment below, you know, let us know. Um, maybe there's some you want us to kind of highlight on the channel or talk about. Um, if there's something... Uh, you know, th this is mostly sealed type stuff, so we leave it sealed. Um, that's, you know, we we leave it sealed for sale for the future so you guys can open it. Um, but uh, if there's something, if there's some that you collect that you don't see here or some that you want to see a video on, let us know. Subscribe. All these products are available on our website, fedusagaming.com. Um, thank you so much. If you're, if you're a customer, thanks so much for supporting us. Um, and thank you for supporting the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Fed USA Gaming. Feed your passion.